What's up family? It's your girl Crystal aka Curly Chris and I'm back with another video for you guys today. Um, in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how I trim my hair. I get so many questions on how I trim my hair, how often I trim my hair, do I do it while wet, do I do it while dry, flat iron, curly, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to just come on here today and take you guys step by step with how I trim my hair. Um, it's super simple. I don't do all that complicated stuff. I keep it very basic. And I'm also going to be like just chit-chatting with you all a little bit today just about trims and about my hair in general and just about what is important to me, what I look for, things like that. Um, just because I want to give you guys an overall synopsis of how I do this. Um, so yeah, that's basically what I'm going to be doing today. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do so by hitting the subscribe button down below. We need you as far as the family on this channel because we support each other and that support feels like a family. So go ahead and hit that button right down below so you know just when I post this and also turn on those notifications. Don't forget, turn the notifications on. On! Okay? Alright, so my hair is freshly shampooed and conditioned right now. And the shampoo and condition my hair, I use the Mish Beauty uh, Sulfate Free Shampoo. And also the Strengthen Protein Deep Conditioner. This is my first time ever using this brand. I got these in a PR package. This video is not sponsored or anything. But this was, this did come in a PR package. And I decided to try them out today because I heard so many good things about the products. And y'all, these products are bomb. Like, that deep conditioner is no joke. Sis, my hair feels so doggone soft. And it smells amazing. Alright, so for, and since I was already in the Mish family, I decided, well, why don't I just go ahead and just use the rest of the products for today's video as well. Um, so I'm going to be using the leave-in conditioner as my leave-in, and then the Hydrate and Twist Butter as my butter, and I'm going to also, I may follow up with the oil depending on if I need it, which I probably will, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to do that. Alright, so we have some naked hair right here. What I do whenever I trim my hair, I like to do it while I twist my hair up. So basically, while I'm doing a twist out, I like to um, trim my hair all in one. Just so I know that I cover all of my hair and I don't leave anything out. Um, so that's just what works best for me. So first, I'm going to put in the leave-in conditioner onto my hair. Dang, this thing got some slip, y'all. Dang. This thing got some slip. You know what I'm saying, girl? Some slip. Wow. So my curls look bomb. But see, y'all, this is how I know when I need a trim. When I look at my ends and they just look like straggly like that, I don't like that. I do not like that at all. Like, it's time to cut it. It, uh um. -uh this time and whenever your ends are straggly like that it's best to just get that let that go because it, your hair won't grow like your hair is not going to get longer if the ends of your hair keeps on splitting it's going to grow out of your scalp but you're not going to see a difference in your length because it's splitting up the shaft so it's going to break off all right so we're going to go section by section So I already applied that leave-in. Then I'm going to just detangle my hair with... I'm going to just use my brush with the best. And whenever I do a trim, I like to work in small sections so that I make sure I cut each strand of hair. So whenever I start the... I, I may actually just be cutting my hair today, y'all. Like, I ain't gonna tell you no lie. Because I feel single strand knots up to here. So I'm about to cut this off. Because I'm tired of it. I just want it gone. Like, if I feel a knot, I want it out my head. Wow. I just cut like two inches off, y'all. 
Dang, Chris. But let me show you what I'm talking about when I say my ends. So if you look on this piece of hair, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. You probably won't. But there's a single strand knot right here. That stops growth. That stumps growth. Also, most definitely a split in. See if I can find one. So if you look at this one piece of hair right here. See how it's split into two? That's a big split in. That stops growth. Because that splits up the shaft. So I'm going to run my hands through my hair one more time. See if I feel any knots. Alright, I think we're good with this section. Now I'm going in with this butter. Which is very, very thick. Ooh. Y'all, my hair feels so short. <laughs> look at those ends, though. Those ends look good. Yeah, this, if this butter does for my hair what I hope it does, like, as far as, like, definition, oh, my God. This is, this, this butter gonna be bomb. Like, when I take these twists out, if they popping, oh, yeah. Now I'm gonna put in some oil to seal all that moisture in. And then we're going to go ahead and twist. And let me tell y'all something. I don't know if you guys have been noticed or have noticed at all. But my hair grows. But for a very long time, my hair has been, or I feel, my hair has been at the same length. Which, to me, just lets me know, okay, Chris, you ain't doing something right. Like, my hair may be moisturized and everything every week, but my ends aren't healthy so if my ends aren't healthy then that stumps my growth so it's like i'm working for nothing basically so that's why i have no problem no issue with cutting something off it ain't nothing to cut that off okay like i have no issue with that because it's like i know that that's going to help my hair in the end y'all see how that that end right there yeah that's what you want to see also another way for you to know that you need a trim is if you do your hair in like twists and at the end of your twist your hair looks straggly instead of like curly then that means you need a trim all right so i detangle my hair now it's time to trim now this time i only trim like an inch off i didn't do the whole two inches because I'm trimming based off what my hair looks like and feels like it needs. I see another single strand knot. Trim that off. Alright, I think we're good. So I'm going to go in with some cream. Then we're going to twist this section up. Let me tell y'all something. Ain't nothing wrong with trimming or cutting your hair, okay? As far as if you are doing it for the health of your hair. No matter what anybody says, if your hair is not healthy and you know that, sis, trim that off your head. Like, that's something that I had to, like, instill in myself because I'm the kind of person where I want to hold on to my length at times. However, I'm like, well, are you really holding on to it if you are preventing it from growing? Are you holding on to it if you're preventing it from growing? Do you know what I mean by that? You know what I'm saying? Like, you want it to grow, but you're not getting yourself a trim. You're just letting your hair constantly split up a shaft because you scared of the scissor. Like, that makes no sense, right? So it's like, okay, you can't be afraid to trim your hair so you can get the result that you want, you know? And that's something that I'm still teaching myself right now. I promise y'all I don't have that all the way down packed, but I'm trying to get there because I know that my hair has has the potential to be way longer than it is. So it's like, what am I doing wrong to where my hair ain't that long? You know what I'm saying? Or it's not as long as I feel like it should be. So it's like, you have to do what's best for your hair. If you need a trim, sis, get the trim, okay? If you feel like you, your hair is so bad so you need to cut it, Sis, cut it. Because guess what? 
You may not want to cut it because you want your hair to grow, but it ain't going to grow because you're preventing the growth. Okay? You only are preventing yourself. You're not helping yourself when you don't want to trim your hair because you're afraid of this, that, and the third. Now, this piece, oh, my God. Baby, girl, it will be a good two inches while they cut off here. I'm cutting it right here. Because I can feel. Ooh. That was a lot of hair. But, ooh, look at all them single strand knots and those split ends. Sis, sis, sis. Mm-mm. I'm telling you. Look at, look at how short my hair is. Man, my stuff's short. My junk short as a mug. I'll tell you no lie. But it's okay. Because guess what? Whenever your hair is healthy, it grows back way faster. Way faster. And I, even when I had a perm, I knew that. When my hair was shorter, I mean, when my hair was healthy, after I got that trim, I used to hate getting trims when I had a perm. But after I got that trim, my hair grew back two times the length. It just helps your hair, basically, period. Like, nothing, you can't get around it. I'm adding some oil to seal in that cream and leave-in. And I'm going to do a video um, also on why your hair isn't growing. And just give some tips that I've benefited from um, along my journey. So, stay tuned for that video. Also, like this video if you want me to do that. Or leave me a comment if you want me to do a video on why your hair is not growing, what's stumping your growth, things like that, and how, like, what regimen is best for you to be on if you want your hair to grow. Um, so let me know down below. Look at those ends. Look good. So I'm going to go ahead and um, do this side and let y'all watch. <laughs> piece on this side and I also just wanted to say um so the front of my hair is where I have and I see the most split ends and single strand knots so I cut a good bit off of the front it's like a good two one one and a half inch probably and what I'm gonna also start doing is carrying scissors around with me so if I see a single strand knot or anything of that sort, at that very moment, I can cut it out my head. Because y'all, I'm, I'm not playing. I am on a hair growth journey. I'm trying to get my hair long, sis. So I'm doing whatever I need to do. And trims are the main ingredients for long hair. Long, healthy hair. Keep it up with your trims. And I'm gonna go off camera and finish the rest of my head. Whew. I'm finally at the finish line on this one side. My ends feel absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this side. I went ahead and finished my whole head with these nice juicy twists, okay? And y'all, my hair is so much shorter than what it used to be. But I am so okay with that because I know that my hair is much healthier. Um, it's going to grow back with no time. This is how much hair I trimmed off. <laughs> I wasn't playing no games, y'all. Like, I cut a lot of hair off, okay? And I feel okay about it. 
because I know that this needs to come out of my head. Um, there are so many split ends in this pile, so many single strand knots. So I most definitely know that it is good. I was getting to a point where my hair was just so bad to where every single piece I would feel felt rough and just weird on the ends. And I am not like that at all. So this is a big relief for me. I'm proud. I'm happy I did it. So basically that's kind of it when it comes to trimming my hair. I'm going to try to go ahead and throw in a clip of how my hair looked and how my ends looked once I took these twists down. But that's pretty much it guys for how I trim my hair. Very, very simple. I don't go all out and drastic with it. I like how I like to do it in a twist because that way I know each section is cut since I can't really get in the back of my head or see the back of my head. So this is a good way for me to do it that way. Um, so let me know if you've ever tried this before. If you, if you want to try it if you benefited from these tips in any kind of way but thank you guys so much for watching this video i am so tired i'm going to bed let's go ahead and do this healthy hair journey together because i most definitely want to focus on the health of my hair so hashtag join crystal in the comment section down below so yeah guys that's pretty much it for this video and i'm gonna see you guys in my next one thanks so much for watching fam i'm out